the tree itself became a real object of defiance of I'm, I'm going to stop now. This is enough. Like enough is enough. Just burn some memories. My morals fade away. The Happy Man Tree campaign was a campaign to save a 150-year-old plane tree at the top of Lordship Road. It started with Kay and Pete. They found out that it was going to be um, due to be felled due to an extensive redevelopment project. As they started to create signs, more people came along and more people um, joined. And suddenly it took on a life of its own and it became this huge campaign um, to, uh, that really was about a kind of grassroots community getting behind a development that they didn't really have much say or control over, but they could have some say over this tree. People started seeing their streets and even like the existing green spaces being denuded of these sort of mature trees. So people were starting to notice, but because this tree was so magnificent, towering buildings, towering all the other trees. And it was on the pavement. So people could see that it provided shade. It, you know, it was, it was pretty monumental and it was a street tree. I always see it as a privilege to be able to film people. Somebody gives you the gift of trust when you film them. And obviously some people were quite nervous about campaigning. And for a lot of people, it was um, it was the first time they'd ever been involved in something like that. Because we're seeing this beautiful tour around UK cinemas, um, we thought it'd be nice to bring those elements of community and activism with us. We thought it'd be nice to invite people to contribute sort of squares of cloth with either writing on it or um, embroider whatever, uh, anger, love, whatever emotion they want to represent. And we're going to sort of stitch them together. Um, and this will sort of grow. So each place we go to, this sort of long banner that we can kind of roll up and take with us will develop and evolve. There's an honesty to the filmmaking. So it's not over-engineered, you know, there's like, it really feels like something that is born out from within. And it sort of has its grandeur of that. And I think for me, it was just another way that the kind of magic of the tree and the campaign had just produced something fantastic again. And, and it feels like a kind of common theme really um, of the people involved, that when they make something, it, it tends to be um, pretty amazing. Oh.